Everything all right? Excuse me? Yeah. Have you seen another Inquisition scout? Elven woman. Answers to Ritz. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I rescued Ritz. She's fine. I found Ritz and rescued her from an attack by the Templars. She's fine. Thank you. I appreciate you taking the time. Anytime. It's dangerous out here for everyone. I'm glad the Inquisition is trying to put things right. I am too. All right. <gasps> again? I feel like we went a little bit further this time, but once again, big old rift. People need saving. I am here to do just that. Why? Oh, why are they all here in this one area? I don't know. But hopefully once we close this big one, there won't be so many little ones. I don't know if I can uh, close this until all these guys are gone, though. Not gonna lie. These demons are like the worst to fight because they like spit magic, you know? Good. Uh, okay, that was it. Good. I'm just gonna wait. Now, I'm gonna do this. Or I'm just gonna keep hitting it. They're gonna keep throwing magic at me. But I'm just gonna keep doing this because they stop throwing magic after I like the rip, you know? It's gotta be almost there. It's gotta be almost there. Nope, one more. Stop, listen, you. Take, oh, it's you. You're the one causing issues. I was like, why isn't this working? Hi, yeah, no, you, I saw you the whole time. Oh. Yeah. Thought it was one of the ones right next what to now? me. All right, that was it. I got the last demon, don't worry. Good. See? What's that? Oh, wait. What did the Fade give me? Uh, oh, gave me a ring. See? Wasn't that nice? The Fade's now leaving me jewelry. <gasps> no. Oh, come on. That's so sad. Why would they do that? Whose house was that? Like, that house belongs to somebody. And they're just over here setting it all on fire? Come on. <sighs> it's so annoying. Oh, wait. You're still here? Wait. Sincerely? You set this house on fire and now you're here? Has everything really gone to such shit? Yes. Why do you have these questions, Ivy? Of course it has. And as was marked, I have another apostate cache. Good. More supplies for recruit yep. Whittle. Now, looking at the map briefly and looking at the last, I think, of the supply caches that we need, it looks like, remember that, like, weird thing? And I was like, oh, I think I passed it before. Or, like, it looks like something magic is in there. It almost looks like a mine entrance. I think we have to go there. And I think it's, like, over that way. So, yay. Let's go see. I don't think we have, like, many caches, if any, left. What is the quickest way over? I don't know. Maybe this way? Maybe not? This place is just so windy. But like, I feel like you could go one way or the other way and it would probably take you the exact same amount of time. The question is, what is the more pleasant walk? I don't know. I guess this probably is. And I've already committed to it. Can't turn around. Can't change my mind. Ooh, elf fruit. But what I can do is keep going this direction and hoping for the best. Anyone who'd come after these refugees needs a good killing. Not gonna hear any arguments from me on that one. Good news is, though, we're here to protect those refugees. They only need a few more things, I think, and then they should hopefully be good to start... I don't know. I don't know how you start living again after all of this, but... They should be good to start trying to build things back, trying to... I don't know, find a new way to move on. You not move on, but learn to live with it? I don't know. I don't know what the best way to process so much of this is. It's gonna take time though. And at least the Inquisition is doing what they can to help. Despite the fact that as Iron Bull pointed out, we don't have an Inquisitor. Still weird, but there we are. Right, okay. So there's the, the crevice that that Rift was really in love with. <gasps> I never got the gift from the fade from that. Is there, did it? It did. Oh my goodness. I never picked it up. Okay. Another ring. So what? The fade's just leaving me jewelry now. Like, is, is that, that's uh, weird, but here we are. The, the fade is in fact 
leaving me jewelry. I'm going to take the elf root, though. Yeah, this. Remember that? Oh, wait. Remember that message we found near the, the, the thingy and the dead dwarf? Like, I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Not th this, but like this. Not what's in it. Well, kind of sort of what it, what's in there. Like, that's how I would protect a pure vein of lyrium. Now let's figure out how to get in. And we're in. Perfect. Love it. Let's see. <gasps> Why are there demons in here? Hello. <laughs> no, wait. It's a demon anime. Wait, you summon demons? <laughs> Why? Why would you do? I mean, I know why you would do this, but why would you do this? That's ridiculous. Absolutely. I mean, not, but it is. <gasps> no. I've gotten good at jumping that. Is he gone? The there is. No, you can't get just the. You can't just. No. And also, who are you talking to? Your demons are dead. Okay. Done. Um. Okay. Let's go up here. And see if there's a pure vein of something and if the spot that Whittle told me about is actually in fact. Yes. Okay, so this is where Whittle has said there might be one. Good. Got More it. More supplies for recruit Whittle. And <gasps> No. No, this is what they meant by a pure vein. Oh no. Oh. Red lyrium and a would-be miner, I believe. Yeah. So what do we do with it? Cassandra, just tell your contacts wherever they are that uh, there's red lyrium here and that we need to station Inquisition soldiers. Scout probably not scouts, but actual legitimate soldiers here. Until we figure out how to either safely get rid of the red lyrium or until we figure out something else to do with it, like if there's a way to turn it back or whatever. But we can't just leave that sitting out there. Actually, could you also get a couple Inquisition, like, mages if we have any to put another barrier up on that door? One, preferably, that can't be broken. But now I think I've got everything for Whittle, so let's go say hi. Hey, Whittle! <laughs> I'm back. I got some news. Maker's breath. If I were back in the city, I could just steal some blankets. I have all the supply cache locations. I went through everything you gave me and I marked them all. I found some of the apostate supply stores. I can mark the locations for you. I'll get out there myself with a few men and pick them up. Excellent. This will keep a lot more refugees alive next time it snows. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I have no idea when it's gonna snow, if it'll snow anytime soon, but just in case everybody, it should be nice just and rumors. warm. Also, let's go and check in with Cassandra was the same Corporal Vale. Uh, and say hi. Make sure that there's nothing else that needs to be done. I don't think so. I think every problem Corporal Vale had, I have, we have all solved. Hey, Vale! Thank you for whatever you did to make the mages and Templars leave the refugees alone. You're welcome. You're welcome. Is there any other concerns? What other problems do these refugees face? We've got some injuries that go beyond stitches and elf fruit. Right! I know healers are in short supply. But if you can find someone in Redcliffe to help us, it would save a lot of lives. All right. Yes. Farewell. And you as well. I am headed to Redcliffe now because we have a meeting with mages, right? Ish. Meeting? Is it a meeting? Uh, so when we go up there, we can go say hi and see if they would like to chat yes. with us about everything. And then we can also see if there's a healer I can recruit. I don't know if anybody really wants to come and work for us, but it's we better did. than nothing. It's good to have commerce restored. It is good to have commerce restored, yes. Okay. But do we think the mages are really going to talk to me in Redcliffe? Like, really, really? Last time I checked, circle mages weren't really, you know, all that thrilled by Dalish mages. I mean, I know Vivian was curious, but that's usually where it ends. Um... East Road, and then... Re Aha! Redcliffe Village this way. Thank goodness there are signs. Can you imagine if there weren't any kind of signs and I was, like, walking us around getting lost all this way? Let's see. Really? Really? And nobody warned me about this? Fine! I found another rift! Who wants to play with it? Oh, no! One of the big boys! Gotta go! Ah, it... No, it hurts. It hurts. Where is this rift? 
Oh my goodness, all the way up there? How do they get to be so tall? How do they grow so big in some places? Okay. I would really like to help close this rip, but I don't think I can right now. You got that, Bo? Okay. Uh, this. So, I'm so short. It's so tall. Stop, you. Okay. Hold on. Stop. I'm busy. Little demon, I can't play with you. Ah, no. No, don't slap me. I will slap you back. All right. Good. <sighs> there. More? Oh, good. I was hoping you'd say more. What do you mean a little help? Yeah. I got it. You got it. Everybody's got it. Okay. Nope. He gonna put us on our butts. Soul is careful. Solus needs help. Okay. Well, I will help Solus when I'm not being attacked 12 different ways. Okay, this. Can somebody get the dude that spits stuff? Oh, never mind. He's concentrating on you guys. Phew. Good. <sighs> Hold on. Love it. Okay. So this is the rift. Oh, I got to close it. Yep. See? Because the rift was so tall, I didn't even realize I hadn't closed it yet. All closed. You see what happens when they're that tall and I'm this short and then I try to like walk by it without even fully closing it? That's on me. I'm so sorry, but good news. I closed it. Now, oops, this way. Um, I guess just keep following the road and the, the fancy flags, right? Because that would make sense that you would have the fancy flags leading you to red why this lead okay you know what i'm not even gonna ask questions uh careful big puddles gonna go around as best i can oh thank goodness these boots are waterproof this road's kind of pretty though i could see why you'd want to like head to Redcliffe or just take like a nice walk from the crossroads to red cliff village should be just ahead and um, no i'm hoping constant watch on that damn thing sound the alarm at the first sign of demons demons Everything okay? Turn back. We can't open the gates until the threat has passed. What? This threat. Guess what? I'm here. Nope. Got it. Did I do it? All right. You guys got them. I got this. What is... Is that... Um... What are these... Solus, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Um, why am I moving? Is that me moving faster? Yeah, Solus, there's like distortion rifts. I've never seen anything like that before. Um, ow. I think the Fade is doing extra weird stuff. Which I don't like. Uh, this is gonna be great. It's gonna be a fun trip to Redcliffe now. Done. You think they'll let us through the gate? Hey! Uh, oh, wait, what did what they say? What was that? We don't know what these rifts can do. That one appeared to alter the time around it. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to look into it then, huh? We need to find out what caused... Whatever this is. Make her have mercy. It's over. Open the gates. Yeah, thank you. We spread word the Inquisition was coming. But you should know that no one here was expecting us. What? No one. Not even Grand Enchanter Fiona. If she was, she hasn't told anyone. We've arranged use of the tavern for the negotiations. Agents of the Inquisition, my apologies. Magister Alexius is in charge now, but hasn't yet arrived. He's expected shortly. You can speak with the former Grand Enchanter in the meantime. The former Grand Enchanter? The Vale is weaker here than in Haven. 
fire. And not hell. merely weak, but altered in a way I have As not seen. We should talk to the Grand Enchanter. Former. Former Grand Enchanter. Um, also, why is the Fade and the Veil... Oh, sorry, you said the Veil. Why is the Veil weaker here when Haven is closer to the big... Big boy rift. Does that that doesn't make any sense? It would have I to be like it, dead, it would make sense, right? That the she further out you go rift. from the big rift, the more intact the veil is. But to be not this far out, but decently far out, and have it be weaker, <sighs> and then those time distortions with this rift, it's like something was preventing everybody from coming and going. But why? Why would you prevent anything from changing well, in Redcliffe? Hmm. In the tavern, didn't they say up here? Maybe this place the is so pretty. The apostates attacking people. Oh. Huh. Rumors after all. huh. Is that a griffin? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, probably from the blood. Oh, okay, with the and then yeah, that that's nice that they put up a tribute. Um, I guess this must be the tavern. This, if I was looking for a tavern, this would be a tavern. Welcome, Agents of the Inquisition. What has brought you to Redcliffe? Is, is that a joke? Like, is this like a, 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 a skit of some kind or something like that? You invited me, remember? A, what was it, like a couple days ago? Was it a week ago, a couple days ago? Like, you invited me recently. Is this some sort of test? We're here because you invited us in Val Royale. You must be mistaken. I haven't been to Val Royale since before the Conclave. Uh, then do you have a twin nobody knows about who also thinks that they're the Grand Enchanter because I met you? If it wasn't you who invited me here, who was it? I... I don't know. Now that you say it, I feel strange. Whoever or whatever brought you here... The situation has changed. The free mages have already pledged themselves to the service of the Tevinta Imperium. What? This right here is why you can't trust mages. An alliance with Tevinta? Do you not fear all of Thedas turning against you? I understand that you are afraid, but you deserve better than slavery to Tevinta. As one indentured to a magister, I no longer have the authority to negotiate with you. Um, so can you call yourselves free mages anymore? You literally just left the circle, and then you signed up with the magister, and, and became indentured to them. Literally, how... <laughs> you know what? This is your life. That was, that was incredibly fast, though. I, I myself am impressed by how fast you all went from free and not answering to anybody to being indentured to a to Vinter Magister. That, that's, that's a whoo. The Divine's corpse is barely cold and you've already joined the Imperium. Most of Sedas blames us for the Divine's death. The Templar attacks grew worse and we mages had no allies. Either my people made a last stand here in Redcliffe or we took the only offer of help extended to us. I had to save them. I had no other choice. There's always a choice. Welcome, my friends. I apologize for not greeting you earlier. Agents of the Inquisition, allow me to introduce Magister Girion Alexius. The Southern Mages are under my command. And you are the survivor, yes? The one from the Fade? Interesting. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? Um, may I ask about this alliance? Will you tell me a bit more? Because I am a little confused by the whole situation. I'd like to know more about this alliance between the rebel mages and the Imperium. Certainly. What specifically do you wish to know? Uh, if Fiona said that she's indentured, please tell me in Tevinter terms what that means. The Grand Enchanter told me she was indentured to a magister. Our southern brethren have no legal status in the Imperium. 
As they were not born citizens of Tevinter, they must work for a period of ten years before gaining full rights. Ten years? As their protector, I shall oversee their work for the Imperium. That's so... very... very kind of you. What does Tevinter gain other than a huge gaggle of mages? What does the Imperium gain from taking rebel mages under its wing? For the moment, the southern mages are a considerable expense. I can imagine. After they are properly trained, they will join our legion. You said not all my people would be military. There are children, those not suited. And one day I'm sure they will all be productive citizens of the Imperium when their debts are paid. Right. Right. When their debts are paid in ten years, if not more, because we all know how stuff like this works. When did this all happen, though? It seems very, very, very quick. I'm not clear on when exactly you negotiated this arrangement with Fiona. When the Conclave was destroyed, these poor souls faced the brutality of the Templars who rushed to attack them. It could only be through divine providence that I arrived when I did. It was certainly very timely. Yeah, a little too timely. Where is the Arl? I can't imagine that he'd just be like, hey, cool, let's have a Tevinter Magister take over Redcliffe or anything like that. I haven't seen any sign of Redcliffe's Arl or his men. The Arl of Redcliffe left the village. Left? Arl Tegan did not abandon his lands during the Blight, even when they were under siege. There were tensions growing. I did not want an incident. So you kicked an Arl out of his home, his land, and everything. Interesting. You are a very, very long way from home, though, with the fact that you just happened to show up being so far from home at just the right time. You're quite a long way from Tevinter, Alexius. Indeed I am, though I have heard you are no Ferelden either. It seems we are both strangers here. Felix, would you send for a scribe, please? Pardon my manners. My son Felix, friends. It's nice to meet you. I am not surprised you're here. Containing the breach is not a feat that many could even attempt. There is no telling how many mages would be needed for such an endeavor. Ambitious, indeed. Well, we don't like to think small around here in the Inquisition. We are always, always looking to uh, make an impression on everybody. And I do mean everybody. Well, when you're fighting a massive tear in the sky, you can hardly afford to think small. There will have to be. <gasps> Are you okay? Oh. Felix. I'm so sorry. No, 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 don't be. Please forgive my clumsiness, my lady. Are you all right? Are you all right? I'm fine, father. Come, I'll get your powders. Please excuse me, friends. We will have to continue this another time. Fiona, I require your assistance back at the castle. I don't mean to trouble everyone. I shall send word to the Inquisition. We will conclude this business at a later date. Of course. Come to the Chantry, you are in danger. Did the Magister's son give you that? Yeah. Why would he help you? I don't know. It's worth investigating either way, though. We'll be careful, but we need to figure out what's going on here. So, shall we? Where, anybody know where, in fact, the uh, Chantry is? I think it's out and over? We all did. I gotta say, though, out of all the stupid things they could have done, deciding to become indentured mages to the Imperium, that's beyond desperate. I mean, Fiona thinks that they had no other recourse to them. Is it true? Did they not? I feel like there's always another recourse. I, I feel like you can't just she said it sounded like the she <sighs> sign up for that. I assume the Chantry people is the right way to go for the chantry but seriously just boom indentured mage to them 
without so much as trying to find another way. I mean, maybe she did, but it's just weird, right? Can you trust somebody like that to help you calm the breach or close the breach or blow up the breach, whatever you want? Somebody that's so willing to take the freedom that they finally got that they wanted for so long and then turn it around and... You know what? Let's just see what's in this chantry. Maybe something fun and exciting will happen. Who knows? Or maybe I'll get bored to death by another lecture. 